G'day, this is Captain Uber, and this is a two-shot auto grenade launch with 25% faster fire rate and 90% reduced weight, but not actually 90% because we've attached a heavy barrel here, which brings that up from 1.9, I believe, to 6.3, which is still fairly light for a grenade launcher, so whatever, I'll let that slide. So this is a weapon of the heavy variety, explosive, so I should say launcher, so not legendary bullets exploding for legendary effect, it means it's actually... Uh, it's a launcher of a it, it fires grenades it lobs them so that means we're not going to get any perk boosting damage out of heavy gunner so blockers on their ordnance express to keep the weight of the grenades down we've also got lock and load to make this thing reload faster and if we're firing this thing we'll gain 60 damage resistance helpful we'll also chuck on demolition expert now i was gonna originally go and use power armor so I could use Stabilize to get a slightly better accuracy bonus and a little bit of uh, armor penetration, but that may not even work for grenade launchers. So we've got uh, five ranks in Gunsmith to keep this going around for as much as possible, and we've got enough points to chuck in the fifth rank of Demolition Expert to give us 60% additive bonus. Or is it multiplicative with that? Dunno, we've also got Bloody Mess, that's definitely not multiplicative, so that's good. We've also got Evasive for extra, you know, resistance, so if we get shot we'll have slightly less damage taken. And then we've got Gun Fu, because the aim of the game here is to use this thing in vats as much as possible. We've got Concentrated Fire, so we're going to aim for the torso, and... If what I'm told is right, if my sources are correct, this thing is a little bit cooked when you use it in vats. So now we're doing 576 damage. Hey, look, it's 76. It's like the game we're playing. Yeah, it's, it's decent damage. Got plenty of grenades. We will definitely not get through all of those before the gun destroys itself on me, but we'll see how we go. We've also got a dense chest piece this time, all right? I got some, thanks to your arch enemy for getting me this. But now, yes, dense chest piece, which means if I equip this weapon, I still take damage. Mm, okay, that's a shame. Okay, welcome to West Coast Customs. I'm going to shoot everyone with a grenade launch. This is what it looks like. Um, this is the first time I've actually used uh, a grenade launcher outside of Power Armor. The accuracy on this thing isn't great on the move, as you can see, but that's okay. We'll be using bats for basically the entirety of this video anyway, if everything goes as planned. So let's not use up any unnecessary AP. Oh, we one-shotted him. Oh, we one-shotted that fella as well. What about this guy? Oh, he's killed in one shot. And we actually... Did we pull a double kill out of that? Because he was standing close. Call the Bethesda Fun Police because they might have to nerf this. I don't know what it is about this particular weapon, but for some reason, it consistently destroys everything. Just kills him. That guy was close. He took a lot of damage from that. He, he regenerated. He, he, he actually tanked a lot of that. That's alright, fair play for you. You've also given me an anti-armor assaultron blade with reflecting damage. You can tell with the um, explosions here that something isn't quite right. And uh, Tactical, I'll give him a name drop, he's got a YouTube channel, go check him out, has uh, been using this weapon for a long time and he says it's pretty good. And I'm inclined to believe that. For this next section though, I'm not going to use that, it's just to see what it is on the flip side if I want to use my actual aiming abilities. So what do you do with explosives in this game? Well, you don't hit them. If you hit them with the explosives, that's stupid, because it does less damage. you got to bounce it next to them, you see. And despite two-shot only giving you what is like a 25% bonus between the two projectiles, I feel like we're getting a lot more bang for our buck, pardon the pun, out of this thing as it is. Which is very nice. You know, um, the explosive class of weapons, I mean the launches, sorry, uh, I should refer to them as such, is, uh, it's been toothless since the very start, and having, having this thing having a little bit of go about it, it's a nice breath of fresh air, I don't know what I'm shooting at there, I assume there's some doggo up there, and hopefully having, hang on, just, there's the peep, the adrenaline damage, we're almost hitting a thousand, and we've got about, a, I don't know, 150% of this thing's health left, which is pretty good, maybe the dog's already dead, let's move on inside and hopefully don't blow ourselves up. Okay, get ready for the most blo mind-blowing, uh, shit, what's the word called? Meta. I was about to say something else, something that would be inappropriate. But, um, yes, it's, it's a, it's a scarily good meta. I call it Stealth Grenade Launcher. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> ah, it's a dog of death, and he staggered me in midair. Yet I'm still allowed to jump, but not move. 
No, it doesn't annoy me. Well, it actually does, but I don't want to dwell on it. Did that one not get one-shotted? For shame. Okay, I'm about to get my ass handed to me by the super mutant, so never mind, I leveled up. Well, that was a nice context-sensitive level up. There's 341. I hit 350 whilst recording the other day, I think. Very nice. Trouble is, I'm gonna need, like, a level 400 to see, like, the best legendary perks from this tune, so... We've got a long way to go. Anyways, uh, we killed a bunch of super mutants and just tossing corpses around like they weigh... <laughs> Look at him. He's stuck in the console. Oh, shit, he got out. What a stupid dog. Oh, wait, no, he's still stuck in there. I'm gonna leave him. <laughs> Look at that stupid dog. He's stuck. <laughs> oh, it's nice. You know, they've been giving me a, a bit of a hard time because they seem to have the ability to one-shot me at Nerd Rage. I mean, how can they? That's illegal damage. But, uh, yeah. You know, seeing them trapped in a console like that, that's hilarious. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, you didn't see that. I was going to edit that out. Did he get out? Did he get out of his console? No, he got out. Damn it, I wanted to taunt him some more. I would have gotten some gun bash damage on him just to see what kind of the gun bash would do. Nine hole damage. Tell you what, being in a biz Oh, look at it! <laughs> it happened again! Oh shit, he got out! God damn it, I was about to do a Richard Gray quote and you would, everyone's minds would have been blown. Like, hey, that's a Fallout 1 reference. Only boomers who think that Bethesda shouldn't make Fallouts remember that game. There's Tenderizer, by the way. Ooh, I wonder if... I wonder if you could make uh, follow-through work with this. I'm going to assume no, because we're not getting the sneak attack critical notifications. But, yeah, this thing's a Ah, doggo of death. Well, I didn't mean to shoot there, but I kind of rammed the side of my mouse into the laptop, so that's just kind of how it is sometimes. I'm going to just move the mouse over here. I've only died once so far, which is, you know, not a bad place. This is honestly one of the worst places to use a weapon like this. So, it's quite amazing that I haven't died more than I already have. Almost did just now, but... We're all, we're all good, all limbs are attached. We haven't broken a limb yet, which I think is kind of interesting. There was a patch there where your limbs were made of, like, tissue paper, and you just got shot, and then they immediately broke, and we can't have that kind of realism in Fallout, sorry. Okay, here we are outside of Total Tools, and if it sounds like that name is a joke, it isn't. There's actually a tool place, uh, like a tool sales store, a little bit like Bunnings, you see. Uh, they're called Total Tools, and, you know, this is kind of what it's like to go inside there without wearing a mask. Now, I don't have serendipity, so one hit and, and I've kind of... I'm dead. Is there a deer over there? Well, you need to go away, mate. There we go. Now, what I would like to do is see all of the total tools come to the dance floor. And it doesn't look like we can put grenades through that, which is probably realistic, to be honest. But here they come. Ready? I'm going to hold the line. It's like D-Day, but with grenade launchers. One of them was legendary. Oh, look. That ex... Ooh. I believe that's a heavy gunner... Uh, the, the shoot stuff, and then when you kill them, they explode perk for... Like, guns and shit. I'm fairly sure that activated, and I'm terrible with the legendary perk names. I apologize. It's as bad as giving misinformation. I should get cancelled. It does appear that we can, you know, push the splash damage through the fence, which is an effective uh, crowd control measure. What was that? Oh, was a stingwing. Well, none of that. Okay, Grand Air Perk. Very, very good for crowd control and assorted shooting ghouls and having them explode, but uh, it's gonna kill ya. Oh, look, there's a fat ass. What you can actually do with explosives sometimes is kind of sidestep around like a bit of building, just a bit of wall. I'm gonna throw a grenade in there. That seemed to wake him up. We'll hold this choke point here, yes. That works. Except for when it doesn't. Mm, you're a little bit too close. Now, despite having a dense chest piece, I'm still running away from my own explosions, which is not good. Ah, it's a triple, I think. Now we wait. 
Waiting. Got him. I think it's time to move on. I've come up with a good excuse as to why I'm dying so much. It's because grenade launchers shouldn't be used in close quarters like that. You need to have wide open spaces. Part of finding what weapons work good and where is their versatility and where you can actually use them without killing yourself. And part of the problem of grenade launchers in this game is that you'll find that you can't really use them in a lot of environments, which does, you know, it's a big drawback, right? You don't want that. That's a guy with an automatic laser gun. He can go down. He continues to fire despite being dead, and some random dogs show up. Yeah, they, these guys are little puppy dogs compared to the mutant hounds. Com they're like little crocodiles, like little fat doggo crocodile mixes, you know? Big saltwater crocodiles, you know, the ones I'm talking about. Big, big, big teeth. And bite you and take your bloody arm off. Anyways, uh, next stop is Swan. Probably should have full adrenaline at this time, and like always, I should probably, you know, just stick to using this thing and bats because it's a lot more consistent than my aim, and it just sort of overcooks the plaza plasma grenades. Hey, that'd be cool, right? In, like in New Vegas, where you've got um, different grenade types. Oh, I run out of AP. Well, it would have taken me like three grenades to do it. Or would you call it six because it's a two shot? I would say three because we're only consuming three ammo. This weapon is actually breaking the terms of service. It duplicates the grenade every time you pull the trigger. So we should probably get this gun banned. So knowing when and when not to use a weapon is... It's some good knowledge to have. Take that, my luck, Kang. You're dead. No mercy for you either. So yeah, new choosing gun free was a good choice. Look at that. Very efficient efficient there against the crabby dudes. Impressive. Now, what you'd probably want to do with a weapon like this is uh, use it as sort of like an offhand sort of weapon. So maybe if you've got a heavy gunner build like I do, do something where you'd use, you've got the heavy gunner perks, right? Because right now you could consider that a lot of the perks I do have is dead weight, except for the thing that makes the grenade lighter. That's essential. But you can get away with uh, without using the faster reload, without having the uh, extra defense whilst firing, and just, you know, replace that, replace you know, three of those perks that I'm using with heavy gunner, or maybe two of them. Or have, like, the first two ranks of each heavy gunner thing to get the boost, boost bang for your buck. And then, when you're in uh, environments where using a grenade launcher is hazardous for your health, what you could do instead is just... Haha, <laughs> not today, my lurk queen. What you could do is just switch to this when the need arises, or when you've got a decent environment to use it. So, it's not a thing that I would consider as a primary weapon. And if you wanted a weapon like this, you could probably get away with just using the standard Thumper M79 grenade launcher and using that just to, you know, you can tag shit with it. And there's our first repair. We won't have to repair this thing again, but yeah, it's fairly efficient. And I think the two-shot does incur a... Um, durability penalty because we are hitting them more than once per projectile so it's actually held up pretty well so far okay now let's shoot stuff in here <laughs> that that grenade eventually got there and it was nice i didn't have to look at it which means i'm cool cool guys don't look at explosions remember that meme even though i've been looking at them throughout the entire video but yes having that extra far-flung firework advantage on this is I mean, an extra explosion, we've, we've got one, two, three explosions that could happen in one spot. That's some good crowd control shit right there. And Scorch Beast flying around, normally they'd, you know, look at your explosive launches and laugh at ya. Go for a critical here because that guy's annoying. There you go, he goes down. Oh, the, the Scorch Beast has got other, it's got bigger fish to fry. Bigger crustaceans, as it were. Looks like the Mylurk Queen is back for more. She actually might get Scorchified. She's only a level... Just a low-level queen. Little baby one. She wasn't... She's like a teenage queen sort of thing. The kind of one that would make stupid music. Like, I don't know, Katy Perry, that kind of thing. Anyway, so that Scorch Beast probably thinks he's sitting pretty up there. Just, you know, looking all hot and heavy. But that's okay, because we've got, like, a homing grenade launcher. See? Just hit him for 750. Eh. <laughs> ah, lovely. That's exactly what you want to see. 
that you are magnificent sometimes. Now what you could possibly do instead of using Gunfu, when you're at a range where... Fuck off, you thirsty bastard. When you're at a range where you could potentially... I hate them. Melee enemies suck with this. What you could probably do is uh, get some unarmed perks and use this as like... Because you don't need any points in strength to get that working, so... It... Fuck, I could use this on Becca. That'd be a decent thing, I reckon. Could do that. But yes, um... Yeah, what you could do when you've got targets at range that you know you're going to hit is just manually switch, which I guess is easier on console, because controllers make it very easy to hit buttons. No game, this one please. That'll do. Now we wait. And it's mutated. I'm actually kind of regretting not using some sort of weapon of the uh, unarmed variety just to... You know, just to make sure that I'm not blowing myself up by these thirsty scorched bastards. Thank you to the extra... Yes, the extra, I guess, perception to making that slightly more accurate. We're still hitting him with grenades even after death, just really rubbing it in. But, you know what, I'm going to have a little bit of purified water, just a little bit, just to get me where I'm not going to die. And a berserker's boxing glove. I will take the, uh, the 50 rounds that it dropped as more of a better thing there. But yes, I'm actually pleasantly surprised by this, only because this thing's probably bugged at the moment, because there's no way knowing Bethesda wants us to get that much damage. Good lord, mole rats, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna opt out of this bad deal. Oh, I've, I've had a shotgun all along. I mean, I could've just used this, right? And maybe chucked on Enforcer if I, if I felt ballsy and didn't want to use, um... You see, there's some synergies you can do. I'm just formulating them as I'm going along, but maybe if you had a good sit down and think about what you want, you could probably offhand unarmed weapons, heavy guns perhaps, and maybe shotguns if you just want to use them for the utility value of uh, destroying limbs. But I think you've, you've seen enough. You get the point of this thing. Two shot fire rate reduced weight on a grenade launcher of the automatic variety. It's a solid weapon. It's more powerful than I thought. Thanks, Tactical, for recommending this or just using this to make it, to make me think about, you know, using this myself. And also, Bethesda finally made the heavy barrel do more damage. It's, it's taken like two fucking years, but they've made it. Yay.